I would have to say that 2012, we've had quite a variety of disruptions in our crops. Our ability to grow and mature, and then we may not have seen the last of it yet. And people that have been, no offense, trust me, but people who have been praying for rain and um, got it, <laughs> Some of them got more of it than they wanted to. That was for sure. It's a sad situation, but there have been a variety of things that have disrupted the crops. We had a warm spell in the region where, sorry, <laughs> we had a warm spell in the region where we were, and it basically, um, once it got cold again, it destroyed the, a lot of the fruit. We have three fruit trees. We got no fruit. Our neighbors have three fruit trees. They got no fruit. Um, the farmer down the road has two pears and this whole pear tree, so there was a lot of that that went on. Um, but how long, and there was droughts in other countries. We were not the only country that was drought stricken this year. So how long can we go on? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't sit and worry about it. I really don't. I know it sounds like it sometimes, but I don't believe that that's a very productive um, activity to sit and worry about what you can't fix. But we should just do what we can fix. You know, if you if you find that you can't get pears because your pear tree didn't produce, or can't get peaches or whatever, then you know, focus on something else. It, I think the dry pineapple I get from the store is really good stuff. I think I pay like a buck fifty, and well, my my, my it's right here. <laughs> it is a seven ounce package, and there's not too much of this left. I ordered six in a case just so that. I'd have them. They ordered them for me, but little bag, seven ounces. If you can see this, there. That's a pretty good picture. Little chunks of dried pineapple. They're really, really nice. Um, like I said, I think I paid a buck fifty. A uh, quarter of a cup is 140 calories. It has 20 grams of sugar in it. But uh. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. It says great for snacking. Baking cookies, breads, muffins, cereal topping, making your own trail mix, salads, and so on and so forth. But anyway, so if you can't get one thing, maybe you can get another. But um, we've been really blessed that we haven't had a lot of destructive, I think, diseases, plant diseases, and we also have not had any widespread, I can't get myself straight again, <laughs> any widespread Pestilence. I gotta be sitting crooked. <laughs> anyway, everything looks crooked today. I have to test my pineapple. <laughs> so, do what you can. Well, they used to say, eat what you can, what you can't can can. That's what my mom used to say. Eat what you can, what you can't can can. But um, get your hands fixed. So, if you can't get pears, get pineapple. Buy something. Lay it aside and you'll be glad to have it. God bless your efforts to prepare three minutes and ten seconds. Make a list. Check it twice. If you can't get pears, something else on your list.